Let's keep having that conversation okay. a little bit. Hi, everyone. Welcome Hi. to the show. We were talking about content, and I said, let's just roll and just keep having the conversation. I find you don't want to interview people. Yeah. No, we were, I was basically having a strategy meeting with my agents this week, and we're just talking about like content and how for YouTube specifically, we want to add another series. And I was thinking originally we would do something in like the styling vein that could be weekly, but then we were just talking about, do we want to go more like women's health? And as we're dealing with all this fertility stuff, like do we want to go down that road so we're open to suggestions but I was more thinking of like a 10 minute episode of something that was like low lift and easy to produce and put out every week and so it could be like light and fun and fashiony and Timmy could be involved and he could like give me a term and I could have to like go style look or I don't know something funny it could be that or it could be heavy I don't know what to do what do you think it should be I want to keep doing reaction Action videos and I think we'll think of something else yeah. like creative to do I don't know mm -hmm. that like that's what we've done that's what my job has been for since I got out of college so yeah. we'll just keep doing that totally. whatever it'll be we'll figure it out and then in next show news here's some ideas floated to me by some wonderful pillars of the community Houtin Levine who's a genius suggests only way is Essex which is like another British Hills type thing okay which is supposed to be amazing okay. or reaching out to the foreign housewife versions because they're not controlled by Peacock or, oh, what, or Universal. That's, those are two really good ideas. Let me write those down so that I don't... I have this on paper somewhere thanks to are Andrea you gonna... Uckland for keeping notes during the chat and sending them to me. Yes, You're I will You're going to send share. them to someone? Okay. And then we'll think of some other stuff and it'll be fun. It'll and be so great fun. And great. But if you have ideas, we'll take your ideas too. The past few months have been a whirlwind of successes and setbacks for all of us. After a lot of confusion, <laughs> Sam and I were definitely over, and I was seeing someone new, but so was he. And his new girl and I were not on the best of terms. You're a bottle rat, you're a clout chaser, booger eater. You have no idea who I am. Okay, time's up no more. You're a nasty, mean, smelly, turd brain. Said what I said. Friendly terms either. But at least Chloe's relationship was going great. She and Chris had moved in together and were head over heels. But unfortunately, the same couldn't be said for Kelsey and Max. I don't feel like there's any opportunity for me here. Kelsey was seriously considering moving out of Siesta Key, but Max definitely didn't want to leave. I've wanted to live in Florida for so long and I finally live here and I really want to stop. And they hadn't figured out what that meant for their relationship. Brandon, for once, didn't have any relationship issues, and things were even getting better with Quincy's mom, Delaney. Quincy voice, you look so good today. After disagreements about custody, Brandon was finally getting alone time with his son. I'm really excited for Daddy and Quincy weekend. Things were going well for Madison, too. She was getting married to Ish after months of planning all while pregnant. DJ, food, photographer, videographer, queso fountain, dance floor made of chocolate. Ah! <laughs> oh, it's my shoulder. In major ways, including me. I've been talking to public relations companies and they want me to move to Miami. How long is this trip? No, it's not a trip. I'd be living there. But was I really ready to start this next chapter? Love a wedding. Love a wedding. I asked Andrea if she was planning hers yet. And she was like, we're focused on the baby first. And I was like, oh. You're like, that's selfish. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> we need to go to wedding. Some things don't change. I won't stop getting butterflies. Aw, they really look sweet. nice. Yeah. yeah. So hot. 
welcome everyone. Like temperature wise, you're talking about. The marriage yeah. Madison Renee Hausberg. There's Paige. Paige really got demoted. I feel mm. bad. I feel like Paige probably didn't want to be on maybe, it anymore. Maybe. Maybe. Hausberg and Ishmael Soto. So, without further ado, Ish. Do you take Madison to be yeah, your he wife? Is to love and to cherish until death mm -hmm. do you part. Everyone kind of is. It's, it's Florida, dog. <laughs> oh, they have to wear suits. I do. <laughs> <laughs> and Madison, do you take Ish to be your husband? What, did he say it too quietly? Sorry, I, know, I was thinking about his sweat. I know, I was, th I was thinking about hot weddings and <laughs> <laughs> what was the hottest wedding we ever went to. <laughs> do you part? I do. <laughs> <laughs> and Madison, do you take Ish to be your husband, to love and to cherish, till death do you part? I do. I don't like when people have like a moment at their wedding where they're like, what are you gonna say? Like it's not time to make a joke. And like you're just doing it for the audience. Like take it seriously, you know? <laughs> You should then put up a little bit of our... Song. Our wedding? If anyone asks me if I believe in love at first sight, I say emphatically yes. You can't describe a feeling like that. You also can't replicate it or force it. People would want to see that. No, we're gonna use it. No. Yeah, we're gonna use it. In me, it is my honor to pronounce you husband and wife. You may seal this union with a kiss. Seal it. Seal it. Pretty. Aww. Yeah. Do you think he planned to do that? I think so. Julia <laughs> <Really laughs> says yes. Yeah, yeah. I am so pleased to present Mr. Mrs. and coming soon, Tiny Soto. I just can't be said enough, but it's so tragic what happens. Yeah. Ugh. I'm like all the reminders of that. Yeah. That's so painful. Congrats. Yeah. Aww. I'm happy for them. Me too. Just like us. Yeah, just like us. <laughs> like, like the, the their relationship is more important than this whole show. For sure. <laughs> yeah, if I had to choose Madison and Ish over Siesta Key, I would choose Madison and Ish yeah. to survive and stay happy. Ugh. Just to survive. <laughs> I would choose this show. <laughs> to survive. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's let's uh, go into some party. bad behavior. Let's ruin this wedding. This is making me want to drink. <laughs> <laughs> they know it's game time, you know. Hi guys, did everybody? This is most likely the finale. Mm -hmm. What's that? Strawberry and rhubarb. I have scars from my childhood. Honestly, every third night at home, there it was strawberry and rhubarb, and that's what we would have as our fruit. And I was like, what? Yeah, like is I don't think this? that's resonating. Like nobody. Yeah, like, like stewed? stewed with like sugar. Uh -huh. It was like our side with of fruit. Cream? No, it was with dinner. I, I don't. And know then like my brother would request it on his birthday. It was like we're gonna have pasta on strawberry and rhubarb. <laughs> So weird. Do I appreciate that? That was insane. I, I cannot believe right. they're married. True love is a thing. Everyone's like crying and everything. Sam, you were crying. Did you cry? Sam, you were crying. Sam, did you cry? Sam, did you cry? Sam, did you cry? Sam, did you cry? Wait, you said it's up to homeboy? I mean, yeah, I probably should. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You want me to go sit up to homeboy? If you need help, let me know. Okay, I know. What up, homie? How are you? How are you, Lexi? How are you? Oh, so, Ooh. I just wanted to say hi, not have it be weird. Like, it's all you know, good, brother. I don't know, yeah, so. What's up, Megan? Oh, you guys know each other, Carol. Good to see you. Oh, you guys know each other, too. <laughs> Holy uh, We need to appreciate how insane this moment yeah, is. Yeah, please rewind. Get that? That was insane. I, I was cannot believe they're married. True love is a thing. Everyone's like crying and everything. I'm like, oh my god. Sam, you were crying? Sam, did you cry? There was one of these. Wait, you said it's up to homeboy? I mean, yeah, I probably should. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yo, I'm gonna go stare it up really quick. If you need help, let me know. Okay, I know. What up, homie? How are you? 
Hi, Sam. How are you, Lexi? How are you? Hi. Yo, so uh, I'm Sam. I just want to say hi and not have it be weird. Like, it's all you know, good, brother. I don't know, yeah. So, what's up, Megan? Oh, you guys know each other, too. Oh. Yeah, I just want to say, like, what I, like, I don't want, like, this to be Oh, it's making him feel so good right now. <laughs> Everything's cool. Yeah. yeah, cool. I don't want it to be weird either. Yeah, no, I mean, it's chilling. So. Megan, that's a pretty necklace. Where did you get that? I bought it. This was awkward. We all know what you're like. You're a bottle rat. You're a clout chaser. Last time we saw Megan, Chloe and I weren't exactly polite. You're just the flavor of the week, sweetie. <laughs> but neither was she. Why don't you guys go f in the bathroom? We'll do it. We'll all listen outside the door. <laughs> so needless to say, I wasn't super happy to see her again. All right, man. Well, yo, it's great to meet you. I wish you guys the best in everything. Nice yeah. to see you guys. Good to see you. That was the most awkward dab of I've ever seen. Sam, that was sweet. We have a lot in common. I, I can guess, respect so. you being like the bigger man, though. You know. I mean, you have Juliet in common. I'm getting the f out of here. This sucks. <laughs> yeah. It's like I spent my whole. She said this wedding sucks. Finally. Who you like? I gotta get out of here. This sucks. Oh my god. Oh my god. Now. Cause you came and looked my way When the light hits the room On your side of the bed and Who are those other friends? Your face, I can't believe where I am mm -hmm. Hard to believe were they nice or were they rude? What's surprising to me is like Juliet and Clark are nice, but like Chloe is the one that has to say What'd something. What'd she say? She's oh, like, oh, nice. where's your necklace from? Like, I bought it. <laughs> Does she always like that? Yes, Megan. She's a nightmare demon. She's talking mad. Kara can my People warn me. No, oh, she's gonna get drunk. She's uh -huh. trying to turn this new chapter in her life. So no. like, maybe she's yeah. better. No. But like everything that I've experienced with her so far shows the complete she's opposite. Super rude ass bitch. Yeah. So we just had a party the other night. Yeah, tell her. And, and Chloe's just sitting there like telling me names. Yeah, so Kara and Chloe have had a rocky history. They used to be so But then Chloe spread a rumor about Kara cheating on Garrett. Kara's been going up to New Jersey and hooking up with her ex and cheating on Garrett all the time. And Kara lost it. I'd like to know who you think I cheated on that guy with. I'd love to hear it. I'm not gonna be made out to be a cheater. I'm f***ing out of here. And they were never friends again after that. I go, Kara, and the cold hearted truth is that you're vindictive. He's like, what the going yeah. on here. No, just kiss me. Just ignore it all. The cold hearted truth is that you're vindictive, manipulative. I'm a little vindictive. Yeah. Okay. She called you a bitch. I'm not <laughs> she didn't say. She needs a psychiatric evaluation, number one. Number two, she says that she's turned over this new leaf, and then she's like so bitch all the time. Yeah, and she's a stupid What are you guys angry about? And they're over there talking. Right now. I know that. I was like, if you're gonna treat me like a f bitch, then I'm gonna match your f energy. We can hear you over there. It's not very nice. So. I've never been quiet once in Jordan, my life. Jordan, nobody's saying anything about you. You guys talk mad f about me. Don't even lie. I know you do. You're the one that talks about me. I haven't said one thing about you, Jordan. It's only about me. I talk about you. About Megan, you're and I mean every day we're talking about oh you. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. I'd be like, running away. I'm not a person, I don't exist. That's why they all want to attack me at the pool party. Respect given, respect earned. Who's going to start? You guys don't pay attention to me at all. Not me. Making Clark uncomfortable. I know. Clark doesn't give a no. Clark, this is your initiation, I'm and I'm rating you, yeah, so. Cheers uh, to Wow, I'm rating you? <laughs> If I was Clark, I'd be like, I'm gonna go start with them. Chloe is legitimately two different people. Yeah, he's got some issues. I wanna go home and have sex with Clark. Juliet Marie! Mm, that's like her currency. Yeah, I'm trying to say, I, I probably. Nice. I've never been like, oh my god, I love this. This is where I wanna settle down. You've known that. Okay, okay. All right, come to some conclusions here, guys. I want everyone. You know, I don't like Florida. <laughs> Just, you know, know he existed. Oh. oh God, no! That's Will's seat. 
Oh, thank God. I was wondering if there was going to be a, a reception. I need to get Chris's thoughts on Chloe acting me. Yeah, agreed. Oh, Ooh, front Damn. Bump. Sister, doesn't she have a bunch of sisters? I thought only two. Oh. Hey, how you doing? Congrats again. Thank, Thank you. you. I'd like to meet you too. Yeah, Thank yeah, you guys for coming. Sam kind of looks like a vampire. Thank you. Yeah, I guess we're gonna get out of here. We have to like leave in the morning. Okay. You guess you're gonna get out of here? You you have to like get up in the morning? Like that just sounds like such a So whack. Yeah. Thanks for having us. Bye. You hungry? Yeah. Okay, dinner. let's go. <laughs> They're leaving before dinner. <laughs> wow, they really got out of there early. Brandon, this was us at this table. Would you look at that? the kids table. I'm glad we're able to be like at a table together. I think that's nice. Yeah, it's my first wedding I've been to. I was kinda, it's your first wedding? I was over there like, I'm about to tear up. <laughs> I like it. That's crazy. Madison's having a baby. Madison's married. How do you feel about that? Like, it's, this is your ex? <laughs> no, I mean, She's it's, hammered. It's great. It's awesome. Well, I'm happy for that, you know? I mean, I've been talking to this girl, Kaylee. I was planning oh, on great. going to the wedding, but she booked like a gig out in Cali. I can only support that. Okay. <laughs> He's like, are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> you are wasted, girl. This is your first wedding. She's my first wedding. And maybe we'll get married next. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Just like slept together though a couple times, never like actually together. Shadana <laughs> just wants a fun time. I think, yeah. I haven't seen him or Megan here at all. We definitely left. Why? Wait, because you guys also didn't see. So right after the ceremony, Megan walked over and Chloe just like attack mode onto Megan. She's like, why is it Chloe? Exactly. Why is exactly. Chloe coming after it's, me? And it's also even worse that you feel the need to bring all this toxic exactly. to her exactly. wedding. Exactly. How dare Sam and Megan just take off? It's classless. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, I'm like, Chloe, who is talking to you over there? I'm, um, you don't leave before dinner. Oh, no. You don't. <laughs> Messy. It's a red cheetah dress to someone's wedding. I kind of expect nothing less classless. She's sitting at the table just talking, like, talking, yeah, talking, I talking, agree. talking. And it's like, dude, just leave it the alone. Yeah, like, especially today. It's like Madison's day, it's Ish's day. My question I, I is I just why. feel like I'm back in high school. It's classless, okay? You expect it or no? I Wrong at a wedding. I feel like he's doing really well. I know, he is. He's actually very mature. Cheers, cheers to that. Water, but also <laughs> It's okay. Time he didn't even like, cheers to us. I didn't have a reason to, honestly. Nothing against you, it's just that, like, you know, Juliet might be using you as a puppet, and you know, I, I might not see you again. That's nothing personal. Wait, <laughs> my thing is, I don't really give a f about you, is what I'm trying to say. I, well, that's I probably, not very nice. Can you have some dignity at least? I, like, what I, are you I, saying? Dude, I, I have dignity. I'm sitting here. I mean, we have me tell you. Just be nice. It's all good and stuff now. What are you going to do when you, like, you see her true colors, though? <laughs> Have you seen your angry side yet or no? That happens then. Juliet loses her goddamn mind. <laughs> this guy this is what he awesome. says, I'm going to do what I want to do. Exactly. 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 Clark, <laughs> your breath of fresh air. I honestly love your personality so much. Thank God you got a good guy. How do you know he's so a good shit. guy? He's known for three days. <laughs> <laughs> And then he looked at him. And then he looked right at him. Mike is funny. And Lexi, it, uh -huh. like she's not intimidated by Mike, which I like. Yeah. So I just read Mike's phone. Sorry, no, no, don't no, get no, mad no, at no, me. No, 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 no. Am I not allowed to talk about it's it? Too late. Say it. I'm oddly curious. Wait, what happened? She just read his phone. There was something on his phone. Okay. I mean, you can if you want to, but I don't know what the f is going on. Say it. Actually, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna get a drink. Say it. Okay, the only reason why Sam's not here is because he's sick. 
and he can't see you guys together. Aw, poor baby. Oh, isn't that juicy? Clark doesn't know how to act. Mm -mm. Kara, I do think you should definitely say something to Chloe. Say what? Joe. I'm not gonna, like, come for Chloe because she was mean. mean to me. It's not so much coming at her because she was I mean to you. Chloe to you. disrespecting one of your girlfriends and bringing pointless drama to the... <laughs> She's like, I can't hear ya! ...and the wedding. That's what it's about. Anything that Chloe's involved with, it just turns to trash. Like, Chloe's it's garbage. She's acting like it. She's acting pretty poorly. Yeah, I mean, Kara's oh, like... Oh, there's the boyfriend. Yeah, I know. But they need to, like... Show. They need to have shots of him being appalled like, by her behavior. Chloe! We need to go have a chat! The way that Clark handled him meeting Sam... Gold. That was so hot. I know. Oh, it was just the way Juliet, he was just like, he thought, I, don't, I, don't, I was speechless. I was, I was speechless too. I was like, oh, I don't know what God. to do. But it was he, so hot. Yeah. I know. I know. I know. You were so worried about it. I haven't been with him long at all, but the way he is, he just carries himself so differently than Sam, and it's so attractive to me. And like, the way that he dressed too. I know. <gasps> so, oh. Yes, I approve 100%. Clark, oh, she's just, hammered. Like, package when you were dating Sam. Mike would always say, like, Juliet's no longer fun. I know. And like now, you're still here. You're not at I'm home. I'm back. I am back. You're so happy. That's like all that yeah. we all want for you. And like, where is Sam? He's not here. And that's what you know. She's like, I don't follow. He wants me to list his house, sell it. Really? Because he wants to move to Miami. But it has a what do you mean in quotes? Like on the internet? <laughs> Virtual Miami? Why? Like public. Why does he want to move? Have you not realized every time Sam goes through a breakup, he sells his house and buys a new house? Am I not wrong? He doesn't know what else. <laughs> it's like, I don't know. Dude, he, he's escaping. Escaping? He's really leaving. Hmm, we're gonna mess him. No, <laughs> yeah. please don't see that storyline. She's not meant to be. Are you breaking up with me? Yeah, he's got pink eye. Oh. That's gonna be us, baby. Oh, let's go! Drink every time they kiss. I'm John Houseberg. Jordana's trying to hook up with Brandon tonight. Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> the most beautiful girl that you ever met. So, um... You can't say that your daughter is the most beautiful girl that ever lived if you have two other daughters. <laughs> right? You have to keep them in mind, Dad. I already had three daughters. And oh, and then immediately <laughs> mention them? I have three daughters. Madison is the most beautiful. And they said, well... You've had a fourth daughter, which is only one in 16 chance, and uh, lucky me. Oh, that was supposed to go over. But I'm so glad that I did. Uh, there was no happier time in my life. Than... Oh, Ish. Yeah, I got to talk about Ish. Yeah, he's, he's the man of the hour, huh? So um, Ish was a producer. Uh, you may have seen some of those shows where, uh, <laughs> you know, I was less than the nicest man in the world. But... How the heck old are you? I'm 48. You're never gonna have my approval on this. The guy's gonna be an old man when you're 39 years old. I'm gonna need a drink. Look, we're, we're dating. We're together. I know your friends. Don't look for a rubber stamp here. You're not getting it. Period. Look out the window. Officially moving to LA. All right, next note. Okay. <laughs> now, I have no grandchildren. I'm I'm almost 70. And oh, no. why is he making it about him? Oh. And uh I don't know the name of yeah. this child, but I own a 1949 Chevy pickup truck. And my, my dream is when this kid's able to ride in a truck, we're going to cruise around in my 1949 Chevy truck. And I just can't wait. So I just want to say, go forth and prosper and uh, 
I had a happy day. Thank you. Ended on a good note. That was a weird kiss. Mitch. Mitch. Let's talk about Florida now. Was that Kelsey? Kelsey, yeah. Max? Both of them together. Who do you think will be next? Who guesses? It's definitely not a race. <laughs> I want everything to flow how it's supposed to. Yeah. You guys want a baby sooner? Oh, rather no, than later? No, no, no. no. Yeah, just like, no. We want to, like, enjoy life. Yeah, I feel like a good nine years. Nine years? <laughs> Is that too long? I'm gonna be damn near 40 years old. Hey, You're bro. only 27. I need another one. We'll leave you two beautiful ladies. You know Chris knows when you're getting engaged. I know when you're getting engaged. Oh, you do? <laughs> oh, my God. You do tell me. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? Uh, I was just going to ask you the same question. So how's everything with you? Good. How's everything with you? I mean, I would lie if I said it was good. So Amanda and Will have been dating for a few Hair months. Hair out of my face. I was really excited to come here, possibly see you. To see me? But when Amanda couldn't make it to meet Will's family, it made things pretty tense between them. I don't know, Amanda. It's just, I don't know. I felt like you were really going to come meet my family. And like for me, for like someone to meet my family, like, that's a big well, thing. Well, it's cool. It's, it's not, not even... like I just decided that I didn't want to come. Well, she texted, sorry, I'm not ready to meet your family. That's a totally different thing than having school. Yeah, mm -hmm. Sorry, Amanda. Yeah, just Amanda, Don't play games. Just tell the truth. Yeah, like, just tell the come truth. on, dog. Stop by for like 10 minutes. I couldn't, though. Like, as much as I want to be there for you, my priority right now is finishing school and being with my family. I just don't know what to do. I'm in this position. I, I mean, I don't know what to do. The thing is, I can relate to you too well that, like, my dad's my priority, and that's why I wanted him to meet you, because I don't know how long he's going to be here either. I know how that is. You know, if you don't have time, I understand. And then I guess it's just not meant to, to be. Yeah. Yeah. Are you breaking up with me? Yeah. And I feel like it would be in both of our best interests and, you know, maybe we both can, you know, focus on things that I guess are more important. Yeah, you make mm -hmm. time for people. Yeah. Don't, what do you mean? She's like, how can I be the victim on this one? I agree. Okay, okay. good. Okay. I accept. I'm gonna go have a good night. I'm sorry. I don't like extensions. Like, you could just see. That they're extensions? Yeah. You can get good extensions. Coming up. Which Chloe am I talking to? I guess we're back with the old Chloe. So you continue your miserable life. Get away from me. Oh, you're so ugly inside. So oh, gross. Say inside. <laughs> yeah. Do you regret not that we didn't have a cake? No, I never thought about it once since right now. But now that you're saying that, I kind of do. <laughs> oh, damn. What did we have? We had like a table full of all different sorts of desserts. Like we had little mini budinos. We had little strawberry shortcakes. We had an assortment. Yeah. We did not think about dessert. We just didn't want to do a cake. Yeah. What do you think about that? I think that's great. Thank you. That, makes, that, that means a lot. Yeah, yeah. That's because you're a dessert expert. You're a dessert queen. <laughs> Can I have a water, please? Yeah, Chloe, chug that. Um, so Kara wants to talk. So Kara? Who's so Kara? I was confused too. Like, what? what? Who's so Kara? So Kara wants to talk? It's borderline harassment. I'm not surprised. Maybe just take the higher road. Try to, try to diffuse. Nice try, dog. Nice try. Chloe. Oh, 
way. My good, you have a jacket on. Are you cold? What's with the questions? What? Weather's finally getting a little cooler. What, is she trying to small talk? Um, why are you like suddenly attacking me out of nowhere? Like if you have a problem with me, like you can talk to me about it. I have, and you declared a long time ago that we're not friends and that you don't believe in my journey and you want nothing to do with me. Absolutely, I would never be friends with you again, but if you have <laughs> No, no, yeah, absolutely. You're the fucking worst, but... She's great. So many problems with me, as it seems you do, because you're constantly talking badly about me. Like, every time you guys are talking, you're like... <laughs> Just a little behind the scenes. These looks most likely are not happening at this time. But, like, it was very easy for the editor to be like, go get... People turning their head, mm -hmm. you know. Talking, you're like, we're talking about Kara. Like, what is it you were saying? We were talking about the bachelorette party. What happened? Did I say anything bad in that conversation before you went off? Well, you're even dick you're this, you're that. Yeah, you love to poke the button. This, like, little button of, like, I thought you changed, Chloe. Well, you're that's a also, like, person. I didn't believe so in your journey and, and look at you. Please don't touch me. And look at you. Beep. Which Chloe am I talking to? I guess we're back with the old Chloe here No, today. we're talking matched energy Chloe. I meet people where they're at in their lives, and you're a miserable, evil, mean so Lesson, don't try to match people's energy <laughs> unless it is like an elevated, amazing energy. <laughs> like that is not, that's not. Chris would not be proud. Like. <laughs> so you continue You're to be a miserable. excuse for I know. a woman. So you continue your miserable okay, life. Get away from me. You're so ugly inside, so gross. Mm. Wish they talked for longer. Yeah. Up. What are you doing? Just letting you do your thing. What do you mean? You've been busy. With all the wedding stuff? Yeah. Yeah, you're part of the wedding, so I've just been chilling. Yeah. You seem great, Max. <laughs> <laughs> what? Why are you sighing? Because. I don't know. I know, like, Madison and Escher, like, leaving tomorrow and go back to LA and all of that. Every time I go back to LA, I'm always my happiest. Oh, great. I don't know why you feel like you have to leave here to find yourself. Like, I moved here with my family. This isn't a place I chose to move to. And I've lived here for five years, and I've never been like, oh my god, I love this. This is where I want to settle down. And you've known that. The fact that we're here tonight, and like these girls are creating drama at like, one of my best friend's weddings, like the most immature th I've ever seen. My girlfriends back home would never do that. Like. I just, I need to get out of this toxic environment with all of that shit. Not you, but like all that shit. I just need to like regroup for a little bit. I want you to do what's best for you, but it's just frustrating for me and upsetting for and me I because- And I understand, I feel really selfish. If you go back and decide that you love it there, like I don't know what that means for us. Because I, I'm not gonna leave. Everything mm. that I mean, they're both putting themselves over the other one. Mm -hmm. But that's what they obviously both feel like that feels right to them, so that then they have to go with that. Right. I think Kelsey is kind of running away from her problems. I mean, I totally understand I the point of like, I don't want to live in Florida, I want to live somewhere else, but I think she's kind of running away. Everything that, that I love to do for myself is here. I am hard than I ever when are you leaving? Like, have you already decided? I just, I don't know. Aww. I just want to enjoy the night. Yeah, well, that's kind of... You can't say that. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna go. Aww. It's cool that he knows, like, what he loves to do. Yeah. Like that for him. Uh-huh, me too. Coming up. Feel so bad for them. The most magical and beautiful wedding I've ever seen. I know. And it was ours. I want to do one last thing with you. 
Well, job. That's what he was thinking. He saw that in this bit. Sonny taught me how to beatbox the other day. Yeah. Boots, boots and cats. cats. Boots and cats and boots and cats, cats and boots and cats and boots. And cats. And boots. That's you talking to. DJ 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 Carl. <laughs> DJ Carl from the marina. Ah! They're dead! Oh, pop and lock it. Yeah, that person was... Of course. Did you have fun? Uh, you're weird, dude. You're weird. I just you think decided. he's weird? Yeah, dude, this guy's... He's, I mean, he's freaked out, His understandably. His pupils so. are enormous. Let's see. Oh, dog, they're hum yeah. you're on all the drugs, yeah. dude. Were my friends nice? For the most part. It was a little weird at times, but... Like, you're weird. She's like, what's up, <laughs> Just, uh... Like, no, my it's... friends were a little interrogating on yeah. you? Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. And I don't know, it was just some, a little bit of drama, a but it was bit. fine. It was fine. It was good. I actually had a lot of fun. I was kind of worried it was going to be weird, but I had fun. Me too. Yeah, he's being, there's something going on. Well, uh, 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 they're on drugs. Yeah. He was he's thoroughly embarrassed about their behavior. Yeah. He's freaked out about being on TV. Yeah. And she has weird energy because she's pretending like a whole different reality happened. <laughs> yeah, let's go. <laughs> and he's just waiting around to have sex with her. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> he, I hate that for them. He's like, despite all that, yeah, I, I do want to have sex with you. <laughs> Guys, guys are the worst. You're like, and it all happened at your wedding, guys. Fun story was at a wedding, got really drunk, and was throwing lemons around. They're this like is the one whole, of the worst nights of my life. The whole everything was a lemon, like the, your place setting. There's just a ton of lemons around. And I went off into the field and was like setting up beer bottles and like throwing lemons. With and, other people. Yeah, and like this guy came and joined me and he threw a lemon and it hit a waitress in the face and she came over and punched me in the face. It caused she the like whole thing. caused a whole scene. She was like, how dare you? And I was like, it wasn't me. And then I was like so embarrassed and then he was like, how could you not believe it wasn't me? And she I was didn't like, believe me. yeah, it was a whole it wasn't thing. Me. You want me to be your wife? You are my wife. <laughs> remember when I was your boss? <laughs> I do remember that. And now I'm your husband. Boss? And it's official. <laughs> and everything went really, really well. It all fell into place. It was honestly the most magical and beautiful wedding I've ever seen. I know. And it was ours. It was ours. Like, it was great. Everybody was feeling the love. <laughs> Sorry we don't get a honeymoon, but... It's okay. Are you kidding me? I'm just so happy to go home. Let's go home. And let's have our baby. <laughs> I'm so happy. That's all that matters. I want you to be happy. Forever. This feels so right. It does feel right. It's the most perfect day in the world. I was blown away at how beautiful you were today. All right, guys, you said all the nice things. Okay, I want to do one last thing with you. Okay, what's that? I have some lanterns that symbolize our love and... Love lanterns? I'm in. All the negative things we've gone through in the past with people not supporting us, because here we are. We've proved everybody wrong. Yeah, I just think it'll be a beautiful thing to do together. I'm in, babe. You want a love lantern it up? Let's f***ing do it. Let's get those lanterns. That's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, they're in the sky. Dangerous, no? You would not be doing that in California. <laughs> There's no one else around? Just two? Do you have like a drone? Yeah, for sure. Three months later. 
Tones and I. I... Two weeks before his delivery day, Madison is his baby boy, Elliot Angel Soto, suffered a rare complication in the womb. He did not survive so awful. Is Chloe not there? She is. This is nice, guys. We can say what? <laughs> no, 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 okay. <laughs> Come snuggle. So when did you get in? Um, a couple days ago. And I've just kind of been with my parents. You. How's Ash? He's struggling. He He's just like really angry with, you know, the world. Yeah. And it's hard. We go to support group every Thursday and it's really nice to like meet other people who are going through the same thing. And I mean, I've learned, there's like a huge, wonderful community of lost moms and I've learned so much from them and they really have saved me in these past few months. Just. I just miss him so bad. No. I'm sorry. No, no don't be don't sorry. Be sorry oh, for don't anything. be sorry at all. Do whatever you want. I want everyone to just, you know, know he existed and, you know, it was really wonderful getting to, like, hold him, yeah. spend yeah. time with him. And, He's so tiny. Yeah. He was six pounds, 13 ounces. Because oh. we all called him tiny for so long. Yeah. <laughs> he had to be tiny. Yeah. Tiny. Oh. So I'll tell you guys the whole story. Yeah. So it was a really weird day to begin with. I was like, he hasn't moved in a while. And so, you know, you Google everything and it just says, you know, drink something cold, take a bath. And whenever I took a bath, he would usually like pop up and swim, it was really cute. <laughs> um, and he just wasn't responding to anything. So we went into labor and delivery and um, they took us in and there was no heartbeat. <laughs> it was the hardest moment of my life. <laughs> it just felt like the whole world just like stopped. I just was so unprepared, I was like, ready to give birth to him. And then they immediately induced me. And for two days, I was in labor. And oh my god. Finally, when I gave birth, um, it was obvious what how he had died, which I'm really grateful for because so many people don't get answers. Um, but his cord was tied in a knot. No. And it was wrapped around his neck twice. And they handed me him and it was so perfect, <laughs> so perfect. And I didn't really cry. I was just so happy to be with him. <laughs> I wonder why they just don't do like a C-section at that point and get the baby out mm -hmm. instead of making, instead of going through labor. Oh, I would do anything to take away your pain. I wish we could all do that. With loss, it doesn't matter what anyone says, what anyone does. It's the only thing that will help you is if you have that person back. <laughs> he was perfectly healthy. If he were born one day before, he would be here. And that's so hard to think about. <laughs> because <laughs> he should be here. Like, he should be here meeting everyone and not like this. <laughs> 
will always be Elliot's mommy, and you will always have us, and we love you so much. We'll always be here for you. This is not fair. <laughs> it's not. And when people say, like, you'll be a great mother someday, it's like, but I am. You are, you are a mommy. Are. I am. Oh, darling, dry your eyes. It'll be all right. Mm. I was not prepared for this. Oh man. The song too is so good. This doubles for us. Yeah. We'll put up our own resources too. Yeah, I'm not going to mtv.com slash Sliesta Key for my resources. <laughs> Is that what it said? Yes. I didn't even. Yes. Like, just it visit did. our show website. Like, That's a joke, actually. There's cool stuff there. You'll like it. Chloe, are you ready to get married? I'm really ready to get married. I'm very excited. Oh, God. That's How's not... your artwork going? Do you have any big pieces you're working on right now? NFTs. I'm gonna get into NFTs, yes. I am also getting into sculpting, which is Ooh, really fun. Cool. Yeah. Kels, what have you been up to? No, Everything's no. up in the air with me. <laughs> I still don't know that I see Florida is my forever home. What about Max? Max does. So what if you guys just keep like it as a home base if you're traveling a lot? I would love to go to a big city for like a couple years. That would be awesome. Yeah. So, Kara, are you a nurse yet? So I'm like officially in school now. I have like a good two years ahead of me. Let me tell you, it flies by though. I graduate very soon in May. I actually had a really great opportunity with Jules here. She talked to me about potentially going to Miami. That's exciting. Awesome. Are you going? It's so cool there. I have to go lease for a little bit. Oh, you're going to move there? I'm going to try to find like a month to month lease. Yeah. If I hate it, I can always come back. I feel like we're all kind of adulting. <laughs> <laughs> So the show's following Amanda and Juliet. I know Jordana goes too. We okay? Yeah, yeah. So sad. Life is all about taking chances. Did you put any more thought into like moving in? I would love to move in. Sometimes they don't turn out how you hoped. And sometimes you're just pulled in different directions. You know, I've never seen myself settling in Siesta Key. You just want to like stay in Florida forever? I don't know about forever, but for the foreseeable future, man. As you're forced to deal with your personal hurdles. My dad's just been going through a lot lately. Your hurdles. He was rushed to the hospital and it scared the crap out of me. Some of which are more difficult than you could imagine. You're about 13 weeks, so that's fantastic. But hopefully you have someone in your corner when things get tough. You're so strong. Pfft, I love you. I love you too. Love Chris though. Yeah. I really do. She needs him, but. Big time. Yeah. I like him. Full stop. Uh -huh. He's always a caterpillar my whole life, and now I'm a butterfly. Now you're a butterfly. Hair's like that metaphor made me sick. <laughs> Taking a chance on something can be really scary, but wouldn't it be worse if you didn't? If this were to happen. She's like, you better move to Miami or there'd never be any fashion ever. <laughs> be spending a lot of time in Miami. Is this a real song? It's not one of my favorites. Is it like that guy, Jamie Caputo? Do you guys know who I'm talking about, Julia? <laughs> Somewhere in the UK, and like he's got a great voice, he's like kind of a bigger, chubbier dude. Oh. I, mean, I think he's autistic or something. Yeah. Louis Capaldi. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. He has Tourette's, uh -huh. so yeah. He's a very good voice. Yeah, he's got an amazing voice. Oh, and you thought this was maybe him. Because if it is, it's gonna get dingoed. Dingoed. Dingo, dingo. For real. Oh.
Yeah, no. We'll put our own f***ing things in the description. <sighs> wow. Yeah. Probably no next time on. Right. Season for season. Oh, man. Ended really heavy. Yeah. Yeah, but that was a really good episode. Um, mm -hmm. Heavy, but it had a lot. There, there was some fun times. The too. wedding was probably supposed to be the thing, and then they were editing the show, and it takes months to edit the show, and then this happened. They're like, we have to get everyone on the beach yeah. for one last scene. Yeah. yeah. You guys, that's it. That's it. It's the end of season. Well, next we go to Miami. Four, we're going to go to Miami. Uh huh. We're going to probably do Girl Hatton and get the links. Or those other things you're going to. Or those gonna... other shows. Yeah, I mean, those are good it. ideas. It's not over. There's still so many Let options. me tell you what narrative I'm writing that's going to manifest itself. We're going to pick another show, and we're the YouTube channel. It's gonna be better than ever. Mm -hmm. I like that. I love it. A little positivity. I love it. Just hearts go out to Madison and Ish, and, and anybody I mean, that's struggling. Like, that's the most tragic thing ever. Like it's so awful. But they have each other, and she's pregnant now. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so we we have our fingers crossed for them, mm -hmm. for you guys at home, for whatever you need fingers. Cross forward. Cross right forward. We're crossing them. Peace in the streets, you guys. <laughs>